Well, not, not much has been happening for the last three days. I haven't put up much video because it's been raining. Well, there's how much rain we got, at least in the last two days, minus what the kitties drank. They've been drinking this regularly. Right? Meow. You want some? Well? So I don't make many videos on re rainy days, but I did fix some customers' cars and stuff like that, and I got a little bit of mail. From Jamie Mello from California. He sent me this perfect emblem for the back of my t diesel van because it really is a turbo diesel. His YouTube username is 79 Datsun, spelt with an O-N. He's got the dashboard from my old diesel van with 485,000 kilometers on the Speedo. What are you doing, kitty? So, I'm going to stick that on the back, and I've got some silicone. If you ever want to stick emblems on a car, silicone is the best way to do it. So I'm all glued up with the sticky stuff, and let's make application. Done. Now I bet you a lot of people are going to pull up behind this van, and when I look in my rearview mirror, they're going to be a smile on their face because they're just going to think I'm some screwed up idiot <laughs> who threw that on there for fun, but can't be more real. And Trevor from YouTube, age 13, sent me this for my van in a letter. And I'm going to stick it on too. You know, the next time a cop pulls me over for all that black smoke that's coming out of this van wondering what's wrong with my vehicle, we can get into a conversation why it says Dodge uh, Caravan on the on the title, but it says Voyager on the back. And Trevor swears that he didn't steal this. He took it off his parents' own van. Well, I'll take his word for it. Good enough for me. So it's been over three weeks since I've been driving this thing, since it's been fully modified. More than three weeks. And it goes a long way in a tank of fuel. And I've calculated the speedometer error. Well, maybe not calculated it, but I've made a mapped distance and compared this van and that van. Since I do have speedometer error on my diesel van, because it's got a Volkswagen transmission in it, this van, when it shows a travel distance of 24 kilometers on the odometer, this van going the same distance on the same stretch of road shows 16.7 kilometers, and I believe it to be correct. It's completely unmodified and has the right size wheels on it. Well, I haven't calculated so I haven't calculated anything yet, but what percentage, how much speedometer error is that? The very first tank of fuel I burned out of this van showed 1,520 unco uncorrected kilometers. And it was about 60% city driving and 40% highway driving. So what does that really work out to? The tank is 75 liters, and I drove till it was just starting to run out of fuel. The van definitely goes more than double the distance it used to go with the original 3 liter engine. She has been running absolutely perfectly for the last over three weeks with the new modification. No adjustments, no nothing, no fine tuning. Just nothing but smooth sailing and, and driving right by those damn fuel stations that rob you blind. Maybe someday I'll even get motivated to give it its very first wash. At least I finally did give it an oil change. And those are my only visible mods to the interior. Low plug button, engine fan button for the radiator, and cold start lever. Oh yeah, clutch pedal and gear shifter. An optional automatic in case you don't want to shift gears. Sweet. And I even did some garbage picking last night in the rain. And this is what I got. Self-propelled 2002 Craftsman, which is basically a Briggs & Stratton with a different name on it. With a rain street tag. Cool. And a 1986 4 horsepower Quantum Briggs & Stratton lawnmower. And uh 
bicycle, which I normally wouldn't pick up, but I thought, well, why not make another project series? I did my go-kart, did my diesel van. Why not show all you kids out there how to make a motorized bicycle from scratch? And a sport BMX would be a fun one to do it on, especially if it's overpowered and does wheelies. Who knows? Gotta check out what kind of motors I got. I could use this brand new mini pocket bike 50cc motor with clutch and little gear on it and everything, but that's almost like cheating. It's just too easy. See, it's got a mounting base. Well, I will have to make an exhaust for it. It's just, it's made for this purpose. I haven't decided whether I'm going to use it or a chainsaw motor or something more creative like the, even a weed eater because that's where the challenge is. They don't want to fit and they're so very difficult to make clutches for them. Looks like the only thing wrong with it is just a flat front tire. Ah, it's got good compression, should be fine. Yep, good compression too. Just uh, crooked back wheels. Oh, so much more work coming up.